Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Don't forget to subscribe below, give us a thumbs up, maybe a comment about a future video that you'd love us to see. We're always looking for educational topics that we can learn about and hopefully deliver an added value video. So today we're going to be talking about a first timer's guide to title insurance. So what is title? Title is a process that would prove legal ownership to a property. So this we're typically talking about the person that would be selling the property to the person that is going to be buying the property. We are going to do all of our research, which we're going to talk about in a minute, and then we are going to verify legal title. So that means who has the right to sell the property. Most importantly, when we transfer title to the buyer, we're issuing a title insurance policy to ensure that buyer that they have the right to use that property free and clear of any liens or encumbrances. It's very, very important. So just as important as us doing the homework to verify the ownership, it's equally as important to make sure we're transferring title correctly to the buyer. So what do we do? We are an escrow company. On top of issuing title insurance, it's usually called title and escrow. Escrow means the money. We handle and facilitate the uh, deposit and disbursement of closing proceeds for a closing. So it always starts with a deposit. So you as a buyer, you're looking to, to purchase a property. Your realtor, you're an investor, they ask you to submit a check payable to a title company for an escrow deposit. Never give your money to the real estate agent directly. You can either send it to an attorney, you can send it to a title company, or you can send it to the real estate broker. You cannot give the deposit to an individual to hold on your behalf. You want to be very careful if you're asked to do so. So then we continue with the escrow process. That's going to be usually where the buyer deposits their first deposit. And then usually 15 days later or 10 days later, they deposit what's called a second escrow deposit. These are good faith deposits based on the buyer to facilitate the, con the remainder of the contract and make sure they, they uphold their part of the terms of the contract. And then as we get a little bit closer to closing, if you're a buyer getting a loan, the lender will send us their money and then we do our disbursement. So we get escrow in and now we do escrow out. Escrow out is gonna be paying uh, lien, any liens that are on the property, paying the seller the money that they're due for selling the property, real estate agents for the commissions that they've earned for, for facilitating the transaction, maybe any refunds to a buyer, doc stamps and intangible tax to the state and the county, uh, and any other things that may come up on, on title to the property, we take care of and handle dispersing all of those proceeds. So now let's talk about a title search. What is a title search? A title search is a search of the public records where the property is located. So whatever county that property is located in, we run an automated search with software to determine if there are any open liens, judgments, any clouds on title, foreclosures. It could be mortgages that are out there. It could be um, personal judgments against the owner of a property. It could be cross-contaminating code enforcement liens. Any lien that would affect the title to the property is what we're going to be searching for with what? A title search. Then we're gonna move over to a lien. What is a lien? A lien is when someone has the right to an interest in the property. So a lien could be a mortgage that, that the person selling the property took out when they bought the property. It could be a second mortgage or what we sometimes see as called the home equity line of credit. Or it could be a lien for maybe unpaid association dues, unpaid mortgage payments. It could be an IRS tax lien. So we do a title search to verify all of the liens that are secured against that property that need to be cleared up at, tide, at closing to ensure that you, the buyer, has free and clear title to your property. Now let's talk about a lien search because we talked about a title search and remember when we talk about a lien search, these are not actually liens. These are municipal issues which have to do with utility bills, property taxes, um, code enforcement violations on a property, code enforcement notices, and most importantly, permits. Because as you remember, permits are not covered in title insurance, but they're important for you as a buyer to make sure you're verifying permits and you ask for permits to be checked because you have open permits, closed permits, and expired permits. Those are three types of permits that we can check if we're asked to do so. But remember, they're not covered in title insurance. So the buyers, you have to make sure you're checking that within your inspection period. So I hope this video was kind of informative for you just to give you a little bit of a, 
uh, Title 101, a little bit of education to hopefully get you successfully to the closing table. As always, we look forward to working with you. If you have any questions, feel free to call our office. We'll be happy to answer any topics that we talked about today. But remember, there are many different types of searches. You wanna make sure you're dealing with a reputable title company that has been in business for many years and that is backed by a national underwriter to make sure you are free to own that property. So as always, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.